Hey guys, how are you all doing? We're back with another Pocket Chip video and today we're going to be showing you how to install Twitter to your Pocket Chip. So, this is uh, basically sort of two or three different um, command line inputs and then you download it and you can run it. So, first of all, to download it, obviously you're going to want to go into your terminal and once you're in the terminal you're going to want to put in sudo at get and then you want to go put install Python dev Python pip uh, lib jpeg if I can type that in properly then you're going to want to put dev uh, and then lib free and then type 6 uh, space and then lib free type 6 dev so obviously you need the hyphen in there dev and then uh, zlib zlib 1g dev now it's quite a long command um, but it should work obviously I haven't done the sudo apt update uh, so it may not work but we'll give it a shot so once you start this it should start downloading or it should come up with a prompt saying do you want to install yes or no so we want to press Y and then we want to press enter and once you've pressed enter it should load everything up which may take a few seconds it should download everything uh, basically this is a I believe uh, it's just required software uh, and once we've done that we then install uh, rainbow stream someone did say in the comments in one of my previous videos uh, asking if, if I can do this so I thought I'd do it today and uh, as the forums are just starting to get sort of busy now with different things hopefully there'll be a lot more content to come in in the coming weeks so it may take a little bit of time to install it seems to be fairly or, or rather than fairly large it seems to be a lot of little files that need to be downloaded so we just gotta wait for those to download uh, and install and then it's just a case of getting rainbow stream and then we can boot rainbow stream and then we've got our command line twitter now obviously this isn't the uh, greatest way of using Twitter on, on Pocket Chip, you could just use the browser and go through the Surf browser which is already built in or uh, install the browser like I did in my previous video and go through to Twitter that way which is probably uh, a little easier for most than doing it via the command prompt but this is just another little way of doing so
So it's certainly taking its sweet ass time trying to download everything. There's quite a lot here to download. But once we've downloaded, basically we need to use the Python package manager pip to install the application Rainbow Stream. I think it's almost done now, but it does take a little bit of time. And we've been on for six minutes now, so it's probably five minutes or, or four minutes of downloading stuff. So not, not a quick process by any means. Now I'm unsure on what we do, as in we have to use the package manager to install the application. Do we have to run the package manager, which is pip, or do we have to just sudo pip? Ah, so maybe just press sudo pip install rainbow stream and type, type that in and, and we should be good to go. Obviously guys, I'm still learning with everyone else, so it does take me a little time to upload these videos, does take me a little time to figure things out. Um, basically the whole community is on board and we're all figuring things out together, which is nice because uh, then I can up upload these video tutorials to help you guys who are just getting your chips now or even just to help the guys that have already got their chips but are unsure how to input stuff properly and and this way it helps everyone out including myself because I've always got videos then to go back to in case I have to uh, scrap my pocket chip again so hopefully you guys are finding these videos informative and hopefully uh, obviously the guys that know what they're doing know what they're doing a pretty rapid uh, in installing stuff but but hopefully you guys are uh, are following with me and learning with me and anyway we're we're installed so if we press sudo oh hang on hang on uh... yeah sudo pip and then we want to press install and then we're going to want to press rainbow stream we're going to type in rainbow stream even so type in rainbow stream this may not work just so you guys know but we trust you see the user lecture from the system administrator usually boils down to three things respect for your servers yes yeah, so uh, even if we enter in the password, it's probably not going to do anything. It seems as this always happens on mine. Oh, okay. So we do need to input a password and it will download an unpack rainbow stream. Now there is lots of people in the forums that have recommended I change the password uh, for security reasons obviously, but I don't see the point just yet. I've got nothing on here. It's not as if I do my 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 internet banking or anything. I don't I don't even use internet banking, so I don't have anything really that uh, is insecure. So it says downloading unpacking Rainbow Stream. I'm unsure how long this will take, um, but hopefully not too long. Anyway guys, I'm going to pause the video and then come back to this. Uh, I don't see the point keeping the video for, for longer than than uh, necessary, so I'll pause the video and then uh, we'll come back to it. Hey guys, so it took a little longer than I expected, but basically I pressed enter and then it worked. So maybe they have to press enter, uh, maybe they have to wait. It may have just been coincidence that it started doing it just after I pressed enter. But I did wait a little bit of time and uh, eventually 
it uh, sorted it self out and then it installed and then I ran Rainbow Stream and authorized it and as you can see now Twitter is currently running really well uh, through the command line it actually looks quite pretty because it's done in rainbow colors but it does work pretty damn nice and uh, there you go so that's how you install Twitter through the terminal on the pocket chip who enjoyed the video if you did hit the like if you didn't hit the dislike and if you want more information, then let me know in the comment section below. If you have any ideas what to try next, then please let me know, and I shall see you soon with another video. Cheers.